Hello, in this problem we are going to prove the statement the intersection of any finite number of open subsets of a metric space is open. Proof. So we'll start by looking at some open subsets. So let O sub 1, O sub 2, O sub n be open subsets of a metric space. And I'll just say x. And now we need to look at the intersection of these sets. So I'm going to set i equal to the intersection of all of these sets. Your i will run from 1 to n. And we have to show this is open, so we have to show that every point is an interior point. So take any x in i. So what does that mean? So that means that x is in O sub i for i equals 1, 2, etc. And again, we have to show that x is an interior point. So we basically have to show that it's contained, uh, it's that there is, an op there is an open ball centered at x of positive radius that's entirely contained in this set. So we took an x and i. By the definition of intersection, it's in each of these. And since each of these is open, we're going to get a radius for each of these. We're going to get an open ball uh, centered at x that's contained in each of these. So since each oi is open, there exists r sub i greater than zero, such that there's an open ball centered at x of radius r sub i contained in o sub i. And this is for i equals one to, to n, just to be more, I said each o i, but just to really emphasize that it's for all of them. So we have n open balls, and so we have n positive numbers, and so when you have n positive numbers, you can find the minimum, and that will also be a positive number. So set m equal to the minimum of these numbers here. Okay, and note this is positive because the minimum of a finite set of positive numbers is positive. So then for i one, two to n, we have that this open ball centered at x of radius m is contained entirely in each of these. Okay, and this this statement is really obvious. Um, it's basically because I'll just I feel like I don't want to like go through all the details in the proof because it's so clear. Basically, you have a ball of smaller radius, so it's going to be contained in a ball of bigger radius, and they have the same center, so it's clear, but let me just show you. If you were to take y in this set here, okay, it's not part of the proof, just to explain this, that would mean that dxy is less than m, but m is the minimum, so it's less than or equal to r sub i, so that means that y is in this set for each i. So for every, every y in this set is in every single one of these sets. So this set is a subset of every single one of these sets. And that's what we're saying here. And again, it's just because the radius is smaller, right? If you have, graphically, if you have a point here x, and then you have a circle here and a circle here, because it's supposed to be a circle, let me make it a little bit better. and then this is m, and this is one of your ri's, you can see clearly that the open ball is smaller, so it's a subset of the bigger one. So that, that's all we're saying here. So we have that for each i, 1 through n, we have that this is true. But moreover, this is a subset of o sub i. That's really the point we want to make, right? So bxm, right, it's a subset of o sub i for each n, for each, for each i, 1 through n, so it's a subset of the intersection. 
which is equal to i. So we started with uh, an element x and i, and we found uh, an open ball of positive radius, such that that open ball is contained in i. Uh, therefore, uh, x is an interior point. This shows x is an interior point. And this was, and, and since this holds for all x and i, and since this holds for all x and i, we have that i is open. So we've shown that the intersection of any finite number of open sets is also open. I hope this video has been helpful to someone. Good luck.